Say you love me. You guys, Say I'm just <laughs> I'm just going through it, just you know, at the moment. Me something so I can move on. Pull me closer. Or push me away. Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Um, oh, I'm just doing it now. Today is gonna be a semi-productive day in the life, life update as well. Um, I'm just gonna kinda get through this day as best as possible and bring you guys along. It's actually pretty late already. It's already 1.23, so I'm not even sure how long this video will be, but I did promise you guys, I didn't promise, but I said on Instagram I would post a life update and share with you guys what's been going on and why I have been a little MIA. So, it's just been a lot going on. Um, it's just been one of the most stressful weeks I've ever had in my life. I feel like, um, and I'm trying to stay positive, things are looking better, so we'll be all right. I don't want you guys to worry, um, but it's just been, life has just been freaking beating us up, that's for sure. So, to give you a quick update so I don't have to make you, <clears throat> Excuse me, so I don't have to wait. Y'all don't have to wait till the end of the video. I hate when people do that. I'm like, let me give you a life update and then it's at the very end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let me just get to the point. So, um, last week I took a couple days off. I had a horrible sinus infection. I've been battling sicknesses all freaking year. Finally started to feel better. I was like, you know what? I'm not just gonna jump back into work. I'm not gonna keep just trying. I'm just gonna really relax Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, Monday rolled around. I already had some content filmed from the previous week, so I was gonna edit that. But we went to the park, um, had a wonderful day with my sister-in-law, decided to leave, had to go get food, and we got into a car accident. Um, the kids were with me. Um, we're okay. It wasn't like crazy severe or anything like that. We were terrified, to say the least, um, but we're all right. I'm not going to be able to go into super deep detail obvious for obvious reasons. Um, everything's still kind of, we're still going through everything. You guys, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just going through it, you know, at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. Thankfully, good news though, is I am better. I'm not sick anymore. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I feel like that has been going on all year since the year started. We're going on <clears throat> almost two months at this point where I was pretty much sick all year and I'm finally have been clear all week. So that's been wonderful. I do feel good about that. Um, Actually, last week I took a couple days off because I had such a bad sinus infection. I decided to just like not film or edit. Actually, I take that back. I filmed. I just didn't edit any of the footage. And I have the footage is just garbage anyway because I wasn't feeling my best. I feel like I was just forcing it because this is my job. And this is how I earn money. And it just sucks. Because sometimes when you're going through things like this, it's hard to come on camera. And it's hard to be positive and uplifting and to come on and just show like my bubbly self when I'm not feeling that way. <sighs> I just feel like it's just been one thing after another. And um, we're looking for another vehicle. My car was considered totaled. I don't even know if I said that, but um, plus we have a lot of other things going on. We have our taxes we were filing and that took me like three days to sort all out because I had to get last year's and this year's because we're going through a different tax specialist this year and he asked me to gather up all the information from last year um, so he could kind of get an idea of what H&R Block did and what he's going to do differently to kind of help me out this year because I don't, don't recommend H&R Block. Um, I had a whole situation happen with them but it's okay life goes on we are happy and healthy other well, <laughs> semi-happy um we are healthy and our kids are fine our family's fine we are okay and at the end of the day we will figure it out we always do it's just a lot you know it's a lot whenever all the things are coming at you at once <laughs> it's a lot and then today the kids stayed home from school because they both have sinus infections as well now um I took them to the doctor this morning. They prescribed some antibiotics, so I have to go pick that up. And then my husband's AC decided to stop working in his truck, so now we're driving around in the only vehicle we have that has no AC, and it's hot here. If you live in Florida, you know AC is a must in a vehicle. Um, yeah, so in case you've been wondering what's been going on, why I haven't posted, this is what's been going on. It's just been boom, 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 one thing after another, but it's okay. 
we're gonna be all right we always are I'm gonna get the house cleaned up um, share that with you guys probably gonna cook later I got my mom bought us a fryer for Christmas or my grandma I don't remember who bought it I don't know if it was my grandma or my mom I can't remember they both came over or my mom came over with gifts from my grandma and my mom for Christmas but we got a fryer and um, we're probably gonna fry up some food, eat some comfort food, it makes me happy. So, I am a comfort eater, that's for darn sure. Um, also, I was gonna post a budget update, I know I'm all over the place, but I was I had a budget video filmed, ready to go, and that went right out the window, obviously. We're not gonna be able to stick to that budget plan, we're on a whole new one now. <laughs> Why am I laughing, it's not funny, it's just, anyway, let's clean up. Okay, I know the lights aren't on, so please don't mind it. I'll turn them on in just a second. Our electric bill went down, though, by the way. <laughs> in case you guys were wondering, I mentioned that my electric bill went up so high, it went, it dropped $100. So, whew, thank goodness for that. I don't know what happened there. But all most of the stuff is from out of my car. Um, of course, we got the kids' schoolwork, lunchbox, and stuff like that, because they didn't go to school, so they just ate their lunch here. Gonna clean all that up. Um, over here in the kitchen, we got chaos. We got recycling boxes stacked up here. More just crap. Um, thankful the dishes are done. <laughs> I'm winning on this side of the house. It looks okay over here. Um, the living room is not bad at all, to be honest. I have a pile of laundry out of my son's room. I haven't washed laundry in days, so I need to do that. But yeah, so this is my mess. You ever just feel? I just want to throw everything away and start over. <laughs> That's how I feel. Oh man. Okay, so this is my. mentioned this but a majority of the stuff that was on the table was from out of my car so uh, the other day they basically called us and told us to come get everything that we needed and believe it or not there's a lot of paperwork that can fit inside of a glove box <laughs> I had so much in there I mean probably from the moment I owned the car I just continued to just pile stuff up in the glove box and up like in the visor on the passenger side and we had paperwork in the back in the trunk from like the kids schoolwork and stuff just a bunch of just honestly garbage I needed to go through and I just never got around to doing it so I kind of we just put it all into bags and brought it in and here I'm just kind of sorting through all that plus a lot of this is also my like notebooks and binders for like bookkeeping for the year or so since I was doing our taxes a lot of that stuff was brought out to the dining room table and yeah I'm just kind of slowly but surely putting everything back where it goes I had the kids help me out with their shoes we <laughs> really accumulate shoes by the front door um, we've been trying to do better about taking them off at the front door as well which that's it's really hard we're always on the go I like back in the day like this is random but I used to be a stickler about no shoes in the house and once the kids got older and they stopped crawling on the floor and they stopped eating off the floor, <laughs> I stopped being so strict about it and I really want to be more strict about it. It's something that I really want to work on because it does help keep the floors cleaner when you're not constantly going in and out with your shoes and like I said, we, we try. It's just, I mean, heck, look at me. I'm cleaning and I got my sandals on but I honestly don't like to go barefoot because it hurts my feet because the tile floor is so hard. So if I'm not wearing like cushion sandals or slippers of some sort, I swear my, the arches of my feet will just kill me.
Alright, so after wiping down the countertops, I got to thinking about it since I had the Lysol wipes out. I went ahead and wiped down all of the tablets um, and any electronics that we had, like small electronics, just to disinfect those since we're all kind of on antibiotics now. Hopefully we can get all the germs out of the house. But I went ahead and did that and then I'm going to sweep the floors really quick. But I really didn't sweep all the floors and here's why. Every time I grab the broom and I start sweeping, I don't know why I do this because I just don't like sweeping. Our grout on our tile, you can't really see in, on video, but it's really deep. Whenever they laid the tile, they wiped too much of the grout away. So whenever you're trying to use the dustpan to pick up the dust and stuff, it just falls into the cracks. It's such a pain in the butt. It's really hard to sweep the floor. So that's why you will always see me vacuuming. Um, so I got a majority of the like big chunky stuff like leaves and things like that and then I'm going to finish cleaning up the living room and then I'll end up vacuuming and then using my Ozotech Horizon H200. It's a wet mop or it's a wet mop. <laughs> Duh. It's a wet vac. So it vacuums and mops. So that way the floors were like extra clean, which they really needed to be because I hadn't cleaned in like a week. Yeah. Um. The wet vac I'm using is called a Ozotech Horizon H200. Y'all may remember I did a sponsorship with this brand um, about a month ago, I think it was, a month or two ago. I still love it. I'm not even kidding. It's the best cleaning tool I've ever owned in my life. It is so smart. <laughs> it's great. So I don't know if you could see, but the little um, red light indicator came on and told me that the like container needed to be filled up with water. So anytime like it needs something whether it needs to be emptied or filled up or cleaned out it tells you it literally talks to you it's the coolest thing ever um so at that moment it said I was out of water so I had to fill it up and then then it went off saying that I needed to drain it so I went outside I like to dump mine outside just because it's really gross so I just go right up front and I dump it and then I'm back at it just finishing up vacuuming mopping the floor and it works so well I swear the floors feel super duper clean when I use this um, and you can just use water or you can use the Ozotech Horizon, um, like cleaner. And this is not sponsored at all. I'm just genuinely, I like this product a lot. <laughs> Done. The house has been clean. Doesn't it look pretty? Mommy's been cleaning. You are beautiful. You had a bath. <gasps> Not right now. You already had one yesterday, remember? Okay. Oh, so pretty and soft. Oh, 
Oh, it's so beautiful. All right, so inside is clean. Feels great. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I feel much better now that the house is all cleaned up. It was bad and it was just overwhelming me, but I'm gonna go ahead and I need to clean up out back real quick. So I'm gonna get up here, tidy, or get out there, tidy up, um, switch the laundry over, start another load. Um, and then, uh, yeah, feels good though. Thanks, babe. Outside now, I'm gonna quickly tidy up out here. Just pick up all the cushions. These fall down really easy. They're not attached to anything, which is such a pain in the butt. I would love to get, um, like, I, I'm worried to use Velcro just because I don't think it's gonna last out here. <laughs> I don't think Velcro is really gonna hold these, but when you have dogs and kids, y'all know it, it just doesn't work. Um, but I fixed up all the cushions. Um, you will notice we did put our curtains back up. We love having the curtains. It just looks like a little cabana out there. It's really nice and cozy. And um, now I'm just switching over some laundry really quick. Then I'm going to actually blow off the porch. I knew I did this kind of backwards. I'm all over the place when I clean usually. So whenever I'm using the blower, Honey, our Black Lab and Pit Mix, she loves the blower. So she'll come out and like let me blow her back. I don't know why she likes it so much. It like scratches her. Well, then Zoe got nervous and knocked over the tripod. So then I decided to call it quits from filming out there. Came out front. Um, now using my Giraffe Tools, uh, what is this called? Pressure washer. Y'all know I also did a sponsorship with this a long time ago. Absolutely love it. We still use it all the time. Almost every weekend we're using this pressure washer. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm getting my O-Cedar mop ready and I'm going to wash my husband's truck because it is full of pollen and I could hardly see out of the windshield. It's that bad. By the way, if you've never used the O-Cedar mop to wash your truck or your car, I highly recommend. <laughs> it works so good. You don't have to like bend over you can, or like reach up real high. And since my husband's truck is pretty big, um, using it to clean his truck was super easy so i'm just going to pressure wash it real quick get all the mud and all the pollen off of it and stuff and he details his truck so he has like some type of wax coating on it so usually whenever you pressure wash it a lot of the stuff just comes right off which is super nice so it makes it easy to clean um i mean i totally realize that not all vehicles have this coating on it so th this does make a huge difference but still the o-cedar mop works like a charm A smile that makes the sun rise You make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Cause you got the The way your body makes my heart beat sound It's amazing all the time You are the only thing I need in life Oh, I want you broke a sweat cleaning up the truck now I gotta go to Publix because I gotta go get um, the prescriptions so that's what my day is gonna consist of and then I'm making homemade um, <laughs> my husband's so silly sometimes I sent him pictures of the truck clean <laughs> oh he's just being funny um 
anyway, I gotta get the prescriptions, call it a day. I'm gonna make some chicken tenders for dinner tonight. It's just like homemade chicken tenders. And um, that's about all. I gotta fold laundry once the dryer's done and then switch the clothes over. But I'm wore out. <laughs> I am like worse left out. So it's already 3.39. Um, I feel like today's gone by really slow. It feels like it's going by so fast, but it's actually gone by slow. I can't believe it's only 3.30. It feels like it's like 6, 7 o'clock. <laughs> I got a long way to go. All right, so now um, jumping into dinner, we're having homemade chicken tenders, super crispy chicken tenders, and I'm sure most of you know how to fry a good chicken tender, but if you don't, I'm gonna show you how today. So I'm also making green beans. Um, I got this frying pan, it's called a, a wok, W-O-K. I didn't know that's what they were called, but that's what they're called. I found it at Aldi for like 12 bucks and it's amazing. <laughs> but anyway, moving to the chicken tenders, just regular old chicken tenders from Walmart. I buy like the little cheap pack. I dip my chicken tender in egg, then into breadcrumbs. Hold on, let me get all this right. <laughs> it's breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, onion powder, rosemary, onion powder, did I say that already, and garlic powder. So there's multiple seasonings in that little um, powdered mix right there. But what you do is you dip it in egg, back into the mix, back into the egg again, and then into the mix again. Does that make sense? So you're going to go back and forth twice. You want to do it twice. That's what's going to give you that super thick coating if that's what you like. Obviously, this would probably be way healthier in the air fryer, but we're using the real deal today. And while watching this back, I realized that I did a few of those chicken tenders wrong. <laughs> but the point is you're supposed to go into the egg, into the breadcrumbs, back in the egg, into the breadcrumbs again. Like I said, that gives you that thick coating. Um, I think I was just nervous because I was filming. <laughs> I didn't want to mess up and then I messed up anyway. Um, but then I actually ran out of seasoning, um, out of bread breadcrumbs. So I ended up using flour for the last half and they both were good, but the breadcrumb mixture is so much better. Flour into the bowl. Yeah, no. Is that, can you grab it for me? Does they all compare? Yes. No, I need that right here. <clears throat> I like to boss you around. <laughs> I like to make you clean messes. <laughs> oh, okay. That's good. That, that's good, sir. Okay, we got it on camera, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, we need some seasonings up in here. You're gonna have to help me because my hands are gross. Got the last one going in. We got green beans going. I always forget to get the overview. Looks so good. We need forks, honey. All right, so yeah, that was some really good comfort food for sure. <laughs> and I actually had a Zagsby's sauce left over. If you've never had Zagsby's, it's thebomb.com. Um, but now it's time to work out. I have been staying consistent with my workouts. Healthy eating, not so much. I'm going to be honest. I am, like I told y'all earlier, I am a comfort eater when I'm going through a lot, stressed, happy, you name it. I go to food for comfort. And lately my diet has not been the best, but that's okay. I'm staying consistent with my workouts. And this is what a typical workout would look like after getting off the treadmill. I do get on the treadmill for at least 30 minutes a day, and then I do a little bit of ab workout, strength workouts, and you can see, look at them arms, y'all. <laughs> I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I have been doing pretty good, and I'm proud of myself. I just need to get back into the healthy eating thing because that's where it's at, honestly, that you got to have a balance of both or it's not going to make a difference. Um, you can stay consistent with workouts all day long, but the moment you start eating unhealthy, it piles back on quick. And I'm definitely seeing that, but that's okay. Um, it, it's all right. I will get back in the groove of things, hopefully when life starts kind of leveling out a little bit better. Until then, I'm probably going to keep continuing to comfort eat because it makes me happy. So <laughs> anyway, this is my little workout. Um, after this, I hop in the shower and call it a night. So thank you guys for watching. 
I also, before I let you go, I did want to thank you guys so much for the thoughts and prayers. I know so many of you were worried on Instagram and the amount of messages I got. It really just means a lot to me. So thank you for that. Um, I'm sorry I left you hanging for so long. I just had to kind of navigate life at the moment. It was I was just too stressed to try to show up on camera. So um, thank you guys for being patient with me. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was motivational for you. Um, I will keep you guys updated on the new vehicle situation, whatever we get. I will definitely share with you guys and share things along the way when I can. Um, but anyway, thanks again for being here. I'll see you in my next one, and I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.